Hello and uh, herzlich willkommen to my tutorial for installing the Scholar of the First Sin uh, Randomizer, which is ran door door miser, which is basically a shitty fuckhead randomizer knockoff. If you just wanna skip to the tutorial, there's a timestamp on screen right now, probably, hopefully. I know I've been promising that I just make it easier to install, which is fair because it's kinda not that simple to install and a bit fiddly because I suck at uh, doing code stuff. And I still plan on doing that, but for right now I'm just gonna do a quick tutorial. I know it's been like almost a year, n not almost a year, like three quarters of a year. But that's really great because I also don't know how to install it anymore and have to follow the exact same instructions that I wrote down myself uh, in like November of last year. Yeah, so let's get let's get started. Uh, step zero: you gotta download all the required files. They're listed here. They're also listed when you go to files and download the thingy. It tells you additional files required. You gotta download all of those, which I've already prepared here. We have the scroll of the first sin, the the game folder, the Steam folder. We have the ESD tool, we have the mod engine from the Discord. The, the link takes you direct to the message. The file is, you can just download it. And the Python thingy, that's probably something that trips a lot of people up. And the mod itself from the from Nexus mods and the UXM selective unpack. And the first step that I have in these install instructions is uh, put the dinput 8 dll and mod engine in you from mod engine into your game folder. So that's uh, step one. So let's do that. Let's open the mod engine. There, yeah, the mod engine in you and dinput 8 dll. And let's put those into the game folder with the .exe. Bam, done. That was easy. Uh, step two, extract the randomizer folder anywhere. Let's just do this. Uh, yeah, we don't need the mod engine anymore. Let's just do this right here. Randomizer. Bam. Now we put the contents of the mods folder into the mods folder of your game directory. So, I mean, in this mods folder, we're gonna, we wanna Control C, copy that mods folder, and we're just gonna put it into the game directory right here. Control V, and it's gonna copy everything over. Bam. Step four, four point one to be exact. Uh, extract the embedded Python dot zip. Uh, into the code folder inside the randomizer folder. Okay, we're gonna take everything that's in here and extract it right into here. That was quick. Uh, 4.2, open the python 37.pth. Uh, that's this one here. Uh, with the text editor. Let's just do that with Notepad++ plus plus. and we're gonna remove the hashtag in front of the last line. Bam! Save. Close that. Now we're gonna run the setup.bat. Where is that? Oh, it's here. Okay, it's in the in the mod folder. Uh, so we're just gonna run that. Note, this opens two CMD windows and may take a couple of minutes. So we're just gonna wait, I guess. Okay, and that was it. As the instructions say, uh, it is finished when the command windows close themselves, which they just did. Uh, now we gotta run the rendormizer.bat and wait for it to finish. Reading files, please wait. Uh, we want to generate a new one. Bam! And it's finished. And this won't auto close, so we close it ourselves. Uh, now we can see uh, the, the connections that got uh, generated for the 
for the for the for doors. Now we gotta step five. Unpack the game using UXM. So we're gonna use UXM selective unpack. Uh, I don't need a readme. I'm just gonna raw dog it. We're gonna browse browse to our uh, game location, which is uh, for me over here. Game. I'm gonna select the exe. Then we gonna unpack it. This may take a while. And it's finished. And now we gotta press patch. I assume that's not on the instructions, but I'm pretty sure we gotta patch it. Uh, okay, let's complete as well. Now we need to do step six. Select all the files in the output folder, drag them onto the esdtool.exe and follow its instructions. Uh, that sounds easy enough. First, let's extract the ESD tool. Then we go to the output folder, take all those files, I'm just gonna take them with me to the ESD tool, we're just gonna drag them on there. We want to do this for Dark Souls to scroll of the first set. Unpack your game and paste the game directory here. Okay, we gotta go to our game directory, copy this here, just control V and right click to paste. Uh, I don't need a backup. And that's step six done. And now we gotta put all the .esd files here. And we're gonna put them into the easy state folder in the mods folder in our game directory. Control X. In the easy state folder. Uh, control V. Yeah, we wanna replace the files. And we're done. That should be it. Now we can launch the game and check if it worked. Let's do that. Play anyway, I don't care about any syncing going on. I don't have my controller connected because I'm really prepared. Uh, we're gonna start a new game. Thank you. Oh, oh, looks like it works. Looks like it works. We're definitely in Majula now. Let's just find the nearest door and check where that leads us. Oh, great. Yeah, let's... Definitely played this game before. Okay, yeah, that's, that's just the Dark Souls 2 experience. But uh, it worked. So my tutorial was successful, I hope. And I hope it works for you as well. And I'll see you in like another year or two when I finally get around to actually making an easy install. Uh, auf Wiedersehen!